A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this video. Saldenbaka steak. I bet you've never tried it before. If you've never heard of Saldenbaka before, you have been missing out. Italians have been making it for centuries and they are using something in particular. And it's this. It's veal. And veal is a byproduct of milk cows. Now, I live in a beautiful surrounding where they have lots of pastures and lots of dairy farms. In these dairy farms, cows produce milk. And why do they produce milk? Because they have baby cows. And baby cows turn up to be little cows. And if they got butchered, they would be called veal. And if you have a lot of milk cows, they will produce a lot of veal. Now in the Netherlands, we're not that smart because we could take that veal and make something delicious out of it. Instead, we don't. We ship it to Italy and there they turn it into something delicious. Salt and bocca. So today I'm going to change that. I'm going to eat as much veal as I can making a delicious Italian recipe. This is a beautiful piece of veal. Dutch high quality veal and as you can see it's very pink which is very common for veal. First thing that I want to do is clean it up a little bit. I want to cut off the edges, trim off the silver skin and make it look really good. And of course I'm going to cut this up into beautiful veal tomahawks. Look at that absolutely gorgeous meat. This is as tender as it gets. Now of course veal is not well known for its pronounced flavor. That's why I'm going to bash it. I'm going to hit it with my pan until it's completely flat. Once they're completely flat, I'm gonna season them with a little bit of salt and put on some ground white pina pepper. My field tomahawks look absolutely amazing. And of course, I wanna add an extra step of adding flavor to these beautiful steaks. So that's why I'm gonna smoke them on my Bernhard flint. But before I do, I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna give you something that you always wanted. A discount code. <laughs> this discount code is down below in the video description and you got to make sure you subscribe to our newsletter on pitmasterx.com because that's where you get notified of all the discount codes. Very, very important because the discount for this grill is 150 euros. This is your opportunity. Call your missus. Let her know you got a discount code. Now I'm gonna fire up my Bernhardt smoker by just hitting the on button and setting it to smoke at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. Once my Bernhardt flint is up to temperature, I'm gonna put these beautiful veal steaks on the grill grate and let them smoke until they pick up a bit of color. Once these tomahawk steaks reach a core temperature of 52 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna place them on my cutting board and let them rest. Then I'm gonna put on some prosciutto or an Italian style ham, a leaf of sage and pin it with a toothpick. Once that's done, I'm gonna coat them with a little bit of flour. And this is what the Italians call salt and bocca. Dusted up veal tomahawk steaks with some prosciutto, some sage. Of course, the tomahawk is optional. It's a little twist that I like to put on. It's barbecue. So I got a pan and I'm gonna heat it up over the fire. It's not working. Morrison, why is it not working? Oh, I think I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> See, it's not, dude, I work better with fire than with these electric things. I don't know, it's too difficult. Go, go. Go. Yes, 2000. Now we're gonna put in some butter. Now I like my steaks to swim in butter, so we're gonna put in a big lump. To make sure that the butter doesn't burn and you can actually cook to a higher temperature, I'm gonna add some olive oil. And now I'm gonna wait until the butter melted. The moisture from the butter is gone and it all turned down to this beautiful cooking oil. Time to put the steak in. There we go. And remember, we already cooked it, so we just need a little fry on the outside. Now, because this is veal, don't be looking for that really dark color. And what the Italians fully understand is that in order to get a crust on really lean meat like this, you need to add flour. The thing that flour does is actually hold on to that oil and make sure it connects with the meat and gets you that perfect fry. Yeah. 
And that's how you mix classic recipes like the salt in Bocca, designed in Rome, made in the Netherlands, created on my barbecue. Isn't that good news? We can do this. You can do this. Making dishes like this at home for your friends and family and be a backyard hero. Let's take a look inside. Perfect cuisson, absolutely delicious and tender, juicy steak. And with a little bit of sage, a little bit of prosciutto, let's give this a try. It absolutely looks amazing. It has a little bit of everything of my favorite. It's tomahawk, it's somehow the same way cooked as a schnitzel. I just love this. Mm. That is tasty. You can never go wrong with a classic, so let's get that out of the way. Of course, it's tasty. Like the flavor profile with a little bit of sage, some salt, some pepper. And then it all comes down to the technique. How do you prepare it? Do you get it absolutely perfect or are you gonna mess up? And if you use something like this, a tomahawk, you're gonna have a thick steak. So you need to flatten it with a pan or something hard that you can hit it with. But you will never be able to get it so flat that it's gonna be the real salt and bocca. So you're gonna have something that is thicker. And that's why I added the smoking step on the Bernhardt smoker. Then I had it smoked. I added a little bit of that smoke flavor at the same time, and I finished off strong in the pan. There we go. Mm. Beautiful piece of meat. Mm. Eating sage on a steak like this is absolutely incredible. For me, it opens so many doors. Like, I didn't know. I just didn't know. And even though it's only one leaf of sage, the flavor is spread out throughout the whole tomahawk. It's insane. Just amazing. And the crust, this is unbeatable. Unbeatable recipe, and you gotta make this. You know the Beatles made a song about sage? Yeah. Really? Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Really? Yeah, you didn't know? No, man. Mm. I'm more, more of a Stones fan, but I must check it out. I, th I really thought you would be a Beatles fan. No, I'm a blues fan, and they make great blues. I need to know, are you a Beatles fan or a Stones fan? And don't tell me you don't like both either of them. It is one or the other. Everybody is yeah. somehow is a Beatles guy or a Stones guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, then leave us a big thumbs up button down below. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eet smakelijk. And keep on grilling. Oh, and click on that link, oh. that Bernhard link. The Bernhard discount, 150 euros discount. Mm. I bet you that if you click it, there's also gonna be amazing recipe on the website links down below. Basically, everything is written down. Also, this video, also written down. Everything's written down. Printable, right?